Good morning, everyone. Gail, I would never miss your speech. So it's great to be here. Better to be here than Washington, D.C., I'll put it that way for sure. Listen, it, it, it's, a, it's a great honor to be a member of the United States Congress and to represent uh, South Florida. And I thought, uh, and thank you, many of you uh, thanked me as you came in uh, on, about the port. And uh, before I get to that, I just want to say this. I want to say something about your mayor. She's got a hotline to me. And I will tell you this, you have, you have one of the best mayors that you could even imagine. And I say that as one former mayor to another. I don't know how she does it. She does it without offending anyone. When I was mayor, I offended everybody. So I, I got to take some charm lessons from you. Uh, I, I also I want to congratulate those who are being recognized today and also give a shout out to your civic association. Bob uh, and Ned and the Port Committee, I forget your official name, Bobby Lindsay. Uh, your community, you should be thanking yourselves. Uh, three years ago when I was elected, really this whole issue of the Port was new to me. And I had a meeting with, with the Port people and with uh, some folks from your Civic Association. And I said, listen, you guys have to make the case. Uh, all you have to do is fly over. If, all you have to do is fly over the port, that, and you see the port jammed in with this uh, in this tiny inlet. It's right. You fly over there, right, when you come into uh, into the city, and you you see the proximity of Palm Beach and. Uh, Palm Beach Shores and Riviera Beach and Peanut Island and the port. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult mix there. But I said to both the port and I said uh, to the Civic Association, listen, you guys have to make your case as to where we're going to go. And uh, I said, because the community has to decide this. Well, what happened? The Army Corps of Engineers had its own mind and they decided to authorize the dredging of the port. And uh, that's really where your civic group stepped up to the plate. And we had hearings, and they made their case. Uh, and I want to tell you as a result, Bob, uh, this is a letter I wrote uh, to Secretary Darcy, uh, Assistant Secretary of the Army. And uh, I'll just read part of it. I'll say, uh, the, and this is in reference to the port of Palm Beach. The port shares a Lake Worth Inlet with a popular rec recreation, recreational area known as Peter Island, Riviera Beach, Palm Beach Shores, as well as the town of Palm Beach. Due to this proximity and fear damage to the environment, marine life, and dramatic change of, in the character of the waterway, uh, the port of Palm Beach expansion is mired in controversy. As a result of these issues, I would respectfully request that the federal funding for the pre-construction engineering and design construction phase of the Port of Palm Beach expansion be withheld from future Army Corps budgets unless and until there is a clear community consensus of approval. Uh, I will tell you this, the Army Corps told me that they could not remember another time where a member of Congress actually asked that a project not be funded. Uh, you guys are quite a powerful group. Uh, but I, I wrote the same letter to the director of the budget, uh, April 19th, 2015. Uh, and I also requested withholding of this, because I truly believe, and, and the good news is yes, the, the, this project is not in the budget. I don't expect it to be in the budget anytime soon. And uh, because I believe I think what you believe is that the decision of what happens to our community should not just be based uh, by bureaucrats in the Army Corps, though I, you know, they help us in a lot of ways too, or by your a congressional representative. There has to be a community consensus of what we want our inlet to look like. Uh, so, uh, and that's what I believe a representative should do. So it's an honor to represent you. I want to thank you, keep working with you, Gail. Two thumbs up, uh, and I look forward to your speech.